Welcome back to the Welcome Charles. back, blood. Welcome back, fam. All right, good to see you still. Yeah. Fam. Take two in it, so we're going to speak in double time. Yeah. Me we and had some technical my Aki Charles. For at least, at least 10 minutes. Anyway, we're back, fam. So Welcome back, yeah. We're just going to run so through this conversation because we've already had it. So, <laughs> right. He asked Welcome me back. about my like, weekend. Like and, like and subscribe. Do all that. Spotify. If you're listening on Spotify, rate right now. Top left-hand side. Styles, all that. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, like, all that now. Watch all the ads fully. They will. From start to finish. They can't, they can't skip. <laughs> what? Let's catch up. That's fucking you horrible. Weekend, you went away, saw some weekend, horses. Misses, oysters, lobster, fucking lovely. Spent a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're in London, go see some restaurants. If you're in London, go to a restaurant. I highly recommend any of the local restaurants, Tesco, Sainsbury's. Buy the food, cook the food at your own home, eat <laughs> local the food. Produce. And yeah, and then yep. just follow that sort of cycle. Fantastic. That was it. We trained today. We trained today. I was trying to get some body lock passing on you. I was, oh, shout out, shout out, let's impress more involved before we start. We should probably say it before we do the liking and rating bit. Less impress, more involved. You know, yeah. our, love, love our that mate. guy. Yeah. Love that guy. He uh, put something up about Gordon's two on one against Nicky Rice. I said this last week. You, you said that. Yeah, idiot. I know, I know. And but, I watched you know, it. Yeah. How good was that? Yeah, it was great. I got Oh, shout that's out. what you're doing. The two on one to me all day. But I, I was doing I that before it. the video. No. Do you understand? Okay. I was doing that fucking before the video. Well done. Props, then. Props, champ. Thanks, man. You know what? I didn't even realize that's what you're doing. Maybe no, I did actually. I did realize because I kept trying to get. It. I was like, I don't have an opening. I don't have an opening. I don't have an opening. Don't have an opening. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't pass. Fuck I did one pass, but I I told you why I wasn't. And you did. It. Yeah. I got It's good though. It was good. Each of them was clean. Yeah. Successful. Successfully. I was thinking about uh, hitting you with one of them mirror locks, but what's a mirror lock? It's like uh, you know that one that Frank Mir got on. Oh, the wizard. Yeah, wizard. Yeah, yeah, the wizard. Sorry. Yeah, but would you have got that? Yeah, if you if you put if it on you, you get the underhook and then I get a knee shield and my foot on the outside hip rather than between your legs, I feel like I can really just. Oh, I say because you you, you, get, you gave it to me. You, I'd, I'd go there and I'd yeah. have that. I mean, the first time was just me giving it to you to see if you could do it, and then the second and I third time was on, me, no and then you just fucking tore through me like a like a butter through life. butter through a knife. That's it. Yeah, yeah. that's hot. Uh, what else were we gonna say? Uh, so he said less impressive more involved shout out to him yeah. uh, fuck we were talking about something before as well we're on a great tangent and uh, and now it's gone just poof just poof we were on a good tangent before before we had to fucking stop because of order, audio city we were talking about was it even a technique fuck let's man let's get questions let's fuck, go, let's, let's let's go let's, straight in it, it was good though it was good what was that dude this. this is about training we've done some training nasal breathing nasal breathing nasal that was breathing. it nasal breathing how yeah. has it affected me so far well yeah. it's got to the point now where i'm very well aware of when i'm not nasal breathing or as in i might not be aware for a couple of seconds and i'll be like oh, get back to nasal breathing before anyone sees me and, <laughs> <laughs> and today for example the only times let's say if you're breathing in through your nose it's all well and good but if you're breathing out through your nose there's bogeys. bogeys yeah there's gonna be bogeys there's bogeys and like let's say i'm on so i've just rambled someone's back and they're facing away it's all well and good because you know maybe if the bogeys go Psh, i can sort of yeah oh. get them back in and get get the inside of my rash guard and go like this yeah. but if i'm in front of them it's like oh sorry i've got to. Oh, i need to take, breathe take some pants to... before yeah before <laughs> they get you know before and, they get sprayed yep and yeah other than that i've managed to keep to the I think over time, my nose will literally get bigger and I won't be blowing snot. But let's say in comp, I'll just blow snot on people. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Mm. It's just part of the game, isn't it? I've been doing it for cardio. Feeling, feeling good for cardio. I feel like my legs get less tired, certainly. Uh, all of my scores seem to be going up. Although, is that because I'm being more consistent with it? Who knows? Get the clients to do it. A few of the lads to get, get on the nasal breathing. They seem to like it. It's all going well. That's sick, man. Well done to it's you. It's good the business is going well. Influential. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's influential for you. I've we've changed the world he's actually tasked me with some new good uh, to hear business is gone <laughs> <laughs> he's t uh go to your questions the go coach to your has tasked me with with uh new thing that i'll show you on the bike it's like a little test so let's see what you think of it and then we can compare who has the mulali fella the nasal breathing fella, okay the guy that put me on yeah i'm keen anyway it's just the numbers on the sheet so yeah. really, really interesting uh are you still reliably getting leg locks late in the session when everyone's super sweaty slash slipper -y? Well, you still use them to get the back minimum. That's my answer. Short yeah. and sweet. And also, yes, got yeah, me, 100%. Got, 100 me, got I me today. You can maybe do more straight foot locks than that if you're 
worried, but honestly, it still works. They still work. At least you get well. into the back. Yeah. And if someone's standing up all the time and running away, then you've got to stand up and get to their back, to be fair. But, but yeah. other than that, you just continue with the moves. It shouldn't be too much reliant on friction anyway. No. But it obviously it, helps, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but you're at least going to set them up for something. You're going to get a reaction from them and yeah. they're going to expose something. Yeah, the friction does help, actually. When I, when I wear those super frictiony spats, Sylvie tells me those are the spats that I should always wear. Bam. Yeah. They're not the right brand. Um, right, okay. Next question. Do you like using pinch headlock slash shoulder crunch from Butterfly Guard to set up triangular? Uh, yeah. Yeah. To set up what? Triangles. Triangles. They didn't add the E. Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't love setting up triangles from there? I'll just run through these. Do you know the jabroni yeah. spin? If so, thoughts? I'm pretty sure we did a, a technique tip on that. We didn't call it the jabroni spin, though. Yeah, we called it something else, but it's basically the same shit. It's what just is from, it? It's the, when you've got your legs X'd and you throw one leg over, go to backside 50-50 or saddle. Didn't we do this with Mark McQueen? Yeah, either Mark McQueen or we did it with... I think we called it a cross ashy, didn't we? With With, what's it called? Sandro in the blue Wolverine in the blue yeah oh it's Wolverine it's kind of like that it's pretty similar it's been posted twice yeah exactly yeah, yeah. It's, Look, been, it's been dawn Wolverine entry or cross Ashy with Mark McQueen go and check that final question from this fella finishing mechanics from saddle knee splaying open or reaping knee pinching down I'd probably prefer the reaping knee pinching down but on the other hand I feel like the bridge is easier to apply I'll probably bridge first and then pinch the knee down for the most rotation on the leg Makes yeah. sense to me. From what position? Saddle. You got the heel. You do a bridge first. Once you get to the end of the bridge, then you can start to pinch your knee down and rotate. Oh, the, the top leg. Yeah, Which down. Leg. Yeah. Then full. Yeah. Once you do a full bridge. Ah, uh, yeah. Because you always emphasize get that knee out. Yeah, get to the pin their hips to the floor. Yeah. And then apply get. the brake. Yeah. And after that, then you can start to twist back in. Ooh, nice. Good break. Good Best details. beginner no gi guards to work on. Uh, half guard. Yeah, just get a good, uh, at least a decent half guard or like get half good. butterfly guard where you can replace the half. Sorry, half guard where you can replace the half butterfly guard. Just do some good good escapes as well, so you're not spending all your time getting getting smashed. Good side control escapes. Good mount escapes. Good half guard smashed. A smashed half guard escape. Yeah, and. Maybe some good open guards, you know, just be a bit sticky in the open guard. Like, that's that's, that's actually probably key. What pin, pins? Pins and open guard, because a lot of people, they're just like, every match is going to start on the feet or at least in some kind of open guard position. Yeah. So having an idea of what you're trying to achieve with some yeah. concepts. If you just start from like, if you just start and shoot straight to deep half, for example, you're kind of missing out on all of the fun easy, stuff. yeah, easy and fun stuff that might be there along the way. Mm. Friends we made along the way. Ideal class time and structure. This is for Someone's you. Stolen your line, Mike. Fucking. <laughs> Can't. Uh, is I there another one out there? Yeah, baby. Human oh, forest. That's a fucking forest one. Uh, oh, I, I think that's that. for you. Uh, class time for jiu-jitsu and class structure. We've actually spoken about this, haven't we? Class time, an hour, or an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. Hour and a half, and structure. Get in. Do so some hard. drilling. Do some specifics. Yeah. Then spa. Let's say if I'm teaching the class or if it's like lower level guys, probably some drilling and that. If it's just what I want to do, it's probably just sparring. The whole class. Of, of different specifics. Types. Yeah. Specifics and norm. Yeah. Yeah. What specifics are you enjoying at the moment? At the moment, I'm liking... I like... Well, I always like the leg lock ones. I'm liking... Obviously. Mount specifics. As long as there's as long as there's a decent length timer, I feel like you you want to yeah. be quite patient in the mount, and you know if you really want to work someone down six eight minutes low specifics. risk, then yeah, and six to eight minutes is good. Yeah, five minutes might be a bit short to really get the <coughs> get the guy tired. You know, five but minutes goes fast. To be fair, we only did six minute rounds today, yeah. and that was quick. Yeah, it went pretty fast. Exactly. Yeah, five minute rounds are almost over before they've begun. There's like one or two. To three significant points mm. or subs or whatever and that'll be it then it's game over you find a new friend yeah let's train with find a new friend hello friends hello okay all right so that was a good question Next. how to how to train hamstrings for strong back heel great question 
you want to train your hamstrings in multiple planes of motion you want to train them from a lengthened position like is that loud enough that audio yeah that's gonna be loud yeah. enough. you want to train them from a lengthened position as an example a standing romanian deadlift because that is an excellent way to train them in a, a lengthened position where they're extended from Love the hip. those. Then you can also train them on the glute hamstring machine, which is when you're lying horizontal on the glute hamstring with some weight. Extend to the top. It's going to hit your hamstrings. It's going to hit your glutes. That's an excellent way. And then you want to train them from a bending position where you're pulling your heel towards you, like a lying hamstring curl, seated hamstring curl, hamstring slide outs, are all excellent ways to train the hamstrings. Then you can even warm them up before you start training them with a hamstring isometric hold. You could. Yeah, where you'd have a, what angle would this be? Not like, it's no, 30 degrees? Obtuse. Mm, let's say you wanna have them s relatively straight, re almost straight, pushing the heels down, like butt cheeks off the floor. Ob obtuse angle. Posterior pelvic tilt. Pressing the heels down, you could go single leg, double leg, warm those hamstrings up 30 seconds Sick. each side or 45 seconds. I do like the, we should do more holds. Isometric holds. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah, some like wall sits or something. You know, really good for the, the split squat holds. Yeah, what with a, with a weight. With a weight. You know, it's really good for tendons. Let's do Shout it. Shout out Jake, um, Jake Turner, Jake Tersha. There's a guy on Instagram, Jake something. I'll put his link in the bio. He's um all he does is study tendon ten, tendons tendon Sayun. not Steven Sayun. That's another fella. This saw him post about that as well. Yeah, yeah. So Sick. he talks about uh so this Jake fella has done a lot of research about isometric holds, how they're good for tendon health. Let's do it. Check him out. Yeah, it's good. Add him in. Check check him out. So you can add in split squat isometric Jake. holds. Full name. So yeah, but also the question for getting a good back heel you want strong adductors too mate you don't want to forget about the inside leg so getting getting good good flexibility in the in the adductors and hamstrings like having good cossack squat is nice a good squat a bulk get a single leg like walking lunges Silvio swears that walking lunges have helped him to get a better leg squeeze and bulgarians so yeah walking lunges there is slightly more time at the bottom of the movement isn't there yeah when well, you're exchanging into the next step Gets a, it's big in the glutes, big in the quads. And the, you are going to hit your hamstrings too. The weight too. is kind of swinging, so you're almost... It's going into the next one. Yeah, like your... I yeah. would say get really good at single leg work and the hamstring exercises I mentioned earlier. Bulgs. Bulgs, so Bulgarians, walking lunges. Bulgs. And obviously the, the straight nice. leg and that knee flexed position. So you could go day one, you can do some single leg work. Day two... You're going to hit some straight hamstring work. If you go to the gym three times a week, then you, on the day three, you're going to hit some bent knee hamstring work. Basic cooking. Basic cooking. Basic cooking Next 101. Question. I'm going to get my protein Next shake. Next question. Okay. Knee pain from rolling equals knee sleeves? Does it? We spoke about knee sleeves last week, didn't we? Yes, we did brand to use i would say look deeper into the knee pain versus oh i need knee sleeves now look at what go to a good physio make sure the physio has a look at what your feet do yeah how does your hip move how do your feet move i always think that people with worse injuries than me are probably pain free right now so huh? people with worse injuries than me like way worse yeah. would be pain free right now so it's obviously just short run most of the time yeah, or but like look how look how, be... look how your feet move. Look at like what your toes are doing. What's your gait look like? What's your walking yeah. pattern look like? How's your hips move? Do you up have and good... down the chain? Do you know what I mean? Up and down the chain. Look up the chain. Look down the chain. It's not always just the knee. The chain. So I would rather than throw a band aid over the solution. God, oh, I could get knee sleeve. This is beautiful language. It's yeah. so metaphoric. Looking to how your body moves feet and actually hips. fix it actually fix the problem see what's going on yeah shout out david gray he's got some One great lower body uh stuff on um for sale you can go buy his lower body system his foot system foot and achilles they'll help you out a lot or you could directly work with me yeah, me, personally, me personally i probably won't go out and buy that anyway 
Could though. But that's you, but you got me. But yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly. But yeah. if you don't, you can go by and shout at David oh, Gray. For them. Yeah, for them, for them. Yeah. Not you. The people. It's not all about you, you know? It's not all about you. Beg to differ. Can sparring too soon be detrimental to progress for white belts zero to three months in? That's an interesting one. Haven't even considered it, but I would say no. Why? Rationalize your point. You can. <laughs> Rationalize them. <laughs> go, go deeper. Remember go once in uh, uni and economic uh, history, I basically gave like the most basic answer to a question and it was obvious I hadn't read the, the thing you're and he naughty, made, he made a, a big point brain. of that and then he just said, go deeper basically. But I had nothing left. I've got nothing <laughs> left. I've got nothing left. So yeah, the so question. That, so that answers that question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Next. next. So, <laughs> to conclude, the answer is no. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Come on. You don't I think, think I think that maybe full sparring won't no. be detrimental other than the fact that they might get injured or they might pick up, like, minor bad habits, but it's zero That's to three months, so... Yeah, yeah, but... Assuming that they're robust enough that they won't get injured, but they might get injured anyway, I would say to just, like, keep it to specifics mostly with, like... When you do full sparring, now because I, I, you get people walk in who do full sparring on the first day and they just kind of get it. So I, I would say waiting three months for them. No, if it's like an idiot, then maybe wait as long as you need. But <coughs> if it's a normal human being, just let them get on with it in the normal class. Like you know, three months is like a complete, a really arbitrary number as well. Because like, why is it? Why three? three why, not, why not two weeks? Ninety days. Six weeks. Why yeah. ninety days? Yeah. What has it got to do with the sun? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so step, maybe start with some specifics and then it, yeah and just go into the full rounds but just like also you have to assess right if it's someone who's got a screw loose then maybe maybe put them with with someone who's like able to handle themselves and if they're just someone like pretty normal or small or someone who in a way needs to be looked after then you can put them with either really small people where they feel like awkward to actually attack them even if it's their first day but that would be a rare kind of person yeah. or you put them with like, you know, just a, a purple or black belt who just basically smoke them and and that'd be it. Like people on their first yeah. day should, shouldn't should be winning anything. No. no. <laughs> basically. No. Yeah. They, if they go to a jiu-jitsu class and they walk out, yeah, fuck people up. You'd be like, yeah, what happened? Like, yeah, this is shit, yeah. Yeah. But if they got smoked, they're like, oh, I've got, you know, what have, what have got, I been doing what, my whole life? Oh, God. Anyone could have, you know, Steve from sales could be a black belt. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> That's how it be. But, uh, shout out Steve from sales. Shout out Stephen. Next question. Okay, very tight left QL muscle. Deadlifts make this worse. Other hip hinge exercises? You want to take this away, Sport? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You had the exact same problem today, but we didn't do deadlifts. I don't think it was my QL though. I've done my QL before and that was uh, different. That was from like a pure twisting... Mm. This was like something else, something else entirely. <laughs> uh, right, other hip hinge exercises. So, nah, there's none others. <laughs> it's not right. a single other one. I'll take, take my word I'll take on that one. <laughs> I'll take it from me. All right, you, um, you, you got one. You thought of one. You can do, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you could do hip thrust. I would say again, why is your QL hurt? You maybe get a bit more warmed up. You could do some elephant walks, which is stretching out the QL and the hamstring. Good YouTube elephant walks. I'll put a link in there. Um, then you could even do some QL walks on the floor. I'd say very importantly as well, get the abs warmed up through some mm. mobility and strengthening exercises at the same time. I'll put a link in. Got I got this big truck going outside. Um, I should put a link into that. Most importantly, learn how to hinge properly. So, for the deadlifts, mm. if, if 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 deadlifts are painful, then don't do it. Maybe have someone look at your technique. You could do a staggered stance deadlift, the ones that we did in the warm ups today, where they hit the glutes a bit more. Great, that's great. Yeah, great. Yeah, really that's, good. That's a great way to hit the glutes those, those and the hamstrings. You could go staggered stance. You could do single leg deadlifts. You could do GHD machine. You could do hip thrusts instead. Um, you don't have to hinge. I never do any hinging exercises. That's uh, crazy. <coughs> never. You don't have to. That's <coughs> crazy. You can do squat and single leg work. You don't have to hinge, but it's a great exercise if you can do it. 
you can do a Romanian deadlift. Maybe that'll be easier. Kettlebells. Kettlebell swings again. If he's got sore QL, it swings might set him Isn't off a little it like bit. Like twisting the QL. Can't he just? Can't you just do QLs, some rotation? Two, two, two on the side. Yeah, so you want to get the core fired up. Look, get the spine moving, get mm. the spine bending. So it's a bit. Do some cars with a medicine ball. Yeah, cars with medicine ball, side bending off a bench. I'd say get the spine bending and the spine moving first before the session starts. Then have yeah. a look at some different hinge options or try correcting your deadlift technique. So correct deadlift technique, stagger stance deadlifts, hip thrust, swings. If none of them agree with you and you've even had them looked at and your technique's perfect, don't do them. Do something else. Don't do it. Don't do it, mate. Yeah. What are your thoughts on dumbbell pullovers? Good exercise for BJJ. What even is a pullover? Lie on the bench and then you got a dumbbell here, arms are straight, you go all the way back and then pull all the way through. Lat. That seems quite nice. Lat exercise, yeah, it's a very nice stretch. Functional you get range. Some good range of motion overhead, bang, pull forward with the lats. You can, so yeah, it's a good exercise. Do we do them? It's like a planche for dumbbells. Yeah, lying on your back, all the way over, all the way through. It's a good exercise. Charm. Use an accessory, do a high reps. Don't try and load up super heavy on them. Eight to 12 reps would be nice. It would be more funny if you loaded higher up though. Way more funny. So jokes. Uh, sprawl vid. You need to do that. Yeah. Advice for someone pursuing <laughs> a career change into SNC slash nutrition for athletes. BJJ. He wants tips on how to make money. Buy my online course. No. Yeah, and just copy it and word make, for word. and just try and make your you know advertising better so you get all the clients. I would say. Exactly. I would say become a generalist first. You need to just train, honestly, just do hundreds of hours of training normal people so you get really good at coaching and communicating your ideas effectively to people. Um, once you get really good at coaching, then use those skills of coaching, start becoming more of a specialist into the people that you want to work with. That would be my recommendation. That's if you don't want work. to do any of that, Either way, you need to work with lots of people. You need you need bodies to work with. So do it for free. Do it for free. Get people tra train some people for free. If you Make people food and train them for free for <laughs> nutrition. Yeah, there's heaps of nutrition resources uh, online. Shoot me a DM uh, on Instagram, and I can copy and paste them from my notes, and I'll send you my links. Well, he just might. No, I don't do that. I'll get lots of DMs. Maybe I'll put the note. There's going to be so many yeah. show notes. Well, he sent in a question here, so... Yeah, do it. Do it, do it, do it. It's not a DM type, type thing. All right. Eat like a five-year-old and hate most healthy foods. Any tips? Mark McQueen. Yeah, you you were on track. So it seems like. Eat more nutrient dense food. Try fruits. Eat some more fruit. Yeah, but he hates healthy foods. You'd be surprised what kind of food... Like, all you need to do is really achieve 30 to 40 grams of fiber a day, which I, which I would sometimes struggle with. But like, E.g. can of baked beans. You can have that with some eggs. He might not like that. <laughs> bread. Brown bread. It's got fiber in Brown. it. Brown. Brown bread. Well, he's not going to like that either. It's healthy foods. That's like traditionally healthy food. He's going to have to get some fiber. You need some fiber. Fucking get it down, mate. Stop being... Yeah, can't he just have potatoes or chips or something? Sweet potatoes. Just more normal fiber. potatoes. You can get some... Yeah, you'll get fi he'll get fiber there. Yeah. If he eats enough crisps, he'll, he'll get his fiber per no, day. Fam. No, fam. <laughs> no, fam. No, man. That's not true. Yeah, just you get... Like, look, make a, get a, get some brown bread, make a ham tomato sandwich with melted cheese on top of that. That's nice. Pasta. You eat pasta. Pasta's got good fiber. Try some brown rice. Mix it in. Put some sauces on there. I'm not a chef, so get some recipe books. Look up. Fit. Try some of the restaurants. Look, try in, some of the re in, local in restaurants in London. Shout out the the fitness chef on Instagram. Go have a look at his recipe books. He's got plenty. Really? Huh? Really? He, he, yeah, yeah, he's done uh -huh. a fucking a whole book of recipes. Great. With so the calorie content, protein content. a lot content. of recipes. He'll sort you up. He'll sort you up big time. 30, 40 grams of fiber, do that. He eats like a five-year-old. Mm. Like mashed peas, mashed fruits. I think that's a lot more like a mental issue than anything yeah but like, do you behave like five year old as well <laughs> 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 writing from the <laughs> mental institute <laughs> fun her mental institute all right favorite superset combos push and pull leg up jab jab push push and pull upper body push horizontal push horizontal pull or a vertical pull sorry i'm yeah i'm, I'm enjoying this fucking hell it's hot what you what <laughs> 
Ah, oh, that's not nice. Christ. Can't, can't, Aren't you ends, Bernie? <laughs> Chilly in the eyes. Um, I like super setting some core exercises with some leg ex with some leg exercises. So a, a leg, a compound leg lift. Uh, with some core. What I like the most probably is <laughs> probably the ones that don't interfere with each other at all. That's like key. Bulgs and shoulder press. You know what I'm saying. Whereas like a bench press, I bet you are using a bit of back, aren't you? Yeah, you are using a bit of lats too, aren't you? A little bit, aren't you? Exactly. So not when much, you go back much. to that row or whatever it may be, the push and pull, I feel like you're not exactly perfectly, even though it's balanced. No, it's not perfect. It's never perfect, is it? But bulgs and shoulder press completely unrelated. I love that combo. It just fucks you. It's like a. We could do them in one. We should get the bulk, squat, clean, press, squat. People do that. It's a terrible waste of time. With a five kilo. <laughs> exactly. In each hand. And yeah. we could do it like 80 times with music. Yep. That would be good training. Maybe we'll just do that when I'm stronger. You know what I want to try with you? The, the reverse bench press. Shout out Eugene T. I was watching a video he put up today about the reverse grip bench press. He's got oh, underhand oh, grips on the bench. Yeah. So it grows to help grow his chest. We could do that. We could try that in yeah. weeks to come. I think we should do more on the pull ups as well. Yeah, like I feel pull-up. like when you when you're gripping like false grip pull ups would be the best. We need you need to get the rings. I've been talking a lot of shit. We don't even have the rings up yet. Pointless. Next question. We'll get the rings up. I can't wait for the rings. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Fuck, the rings get are the good. Rings. Uh, yeah, but your pull ups are good. Uh, rings are better. When bulking, how far up should you push body weight? Until you're satisfied with that weight. It's too subjective to answer. I don't know. How how big do you want to get? How big is how big the is the wall? Um Yeah. Exactly. Don't go crazy with your deficit don't go crazy with your surplus. The surplus should only be like five hundred calories over your maintenance. Hmm. Because then you don't get too fat too soon. If you go crazy on it, you're just gonna get quite fat quite quickly. Are there any examples of people that get really fat and then still shred down afterwards? Paddy to buddy. Yeah, but he doesn't actually get really fat. He just puts weight on in his face first. He's pretty fat. <laughs> it's not good to do. You don't want to have periods of time where like you're really fat and then constantly going fat to cut, fat to cut. Um, I would say... I think it's unhealthy. <laughs> just Yeah, just do it to like, okay, if I'm going to bulk, I'm just going to put... Like, if, he's a, if he's a bodybuilder, you're asking the wrong guys. Like We're not bodybuilder coaches, but for jiu-jitsu, just go, I've, I'm committing to going up a weight class and I'm going to stay at that weight class so I'm going to put on some muscle mass and I'm going to what, maintain stay there. maintain that maintain through eating yeah and if you want to cut down a bit of weight then then that's absolutely fine too but if I would say if you're going to ch- try and lose weight again don't don't go any below anything below 3% of your body weight for a same day weigh that's the rule that's the rules 3% yeah I was wondering the other day I was walking around like what percentage is it yeah better message Charles but I didn't Right, here is the next question. Fucking hell, look at that time. I know, fella. Four minutes. All right. We're almost at half an hour again. Okay, fuck. I keep meaning to ask you a question for the podcast. Sorry sorry for making that face when I did that. How do you deal with someone who plays that pseudo top half guard? Bit rude. Pseudo top <laughs> half where, guard. Where they've pummeled both legs inside. The whole Craig Jones power top stuff I find hard to deal with as the bottom player. I read that like such a cunt unnecessarily. Are you talking about like um, top lockdown? Oh, my spaz. He's saying pummeled both legs inside. It's like fish hooking them. No. Isn't that... You put your finger in their mouth. Uh, uh, like, yeah, no. isn't that... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a different... That's a different setting. No, I think he means like you're passing half guard. They've got a knee shield. You put your bottom hook in. That's it. But you haven't got anything else. You just put your bottom hook in. Your feet are like spread like this and you're just trying to get that foot in. So I think, buddy, oh. I think, buddy, that you should look to try and underhook a leg and invert most of the time. That's the answer to everything. Just underhook a leg and invert, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like oh, to switch between... I need to do better with that inverting. The arm the far arm the far leg and as they spread themselves out the weight will come off your 
knee shield slash butterfly hook and then you'll be able to use it more effectively youtube let's i hope go. that has made enough sense that it can be useful youtube let's to go you my g my okay g. i've got i've got i've got you've go. got them yeah yeah look at those ads those should we go on just someone else's questions and answer them biggest problem with do- that's not a question question for the podcast what do you guys make of entering clamp from entering the clamp from half butterfly is the arm settle on the other arm on on the other arm from the shoulder crunch just more reliable did you get that is the sorry read it like a fucking idiot <coughs> read it read it to the fans yeah no you read it well actually considering it just <laughs> like is it more is it more reliable I would say I would prefer I mean the arm saddle and the shoulder crunch are pretty much the same thing almost the same thing it's like the you could get to one from the other. I would probably go to the arm saddle instead. Arm saddle is the choy bar, basically, instead of the shoulder crunch. Go mm. you go for the Actually, choy. no. It's just going to depend what they're doing with their spare arm. If their spare arm is in some way blocking you from getting your knee in front of their face, then I'll go to the shoulder crunch and sweep. If their far arm is not, then I'll just bring it in front of the face and try to isolate the arm fully. If I do sweep them with the shoulder crunch, generally I'll try and get both my knees around their same shoulder and then look for that top side Udi Gatami. That's 100%. Garami Gatami. 100%, 100%, yeah? Nah, that's just a straight arm bar. Uh, When when you roll them through to mount and then you put your shin on their face and pull him really hard. Shit on their face. And their arm goes, brr. What's your favorite attack from side control? Side control, eh? I'll normally just go to mount. Otherwise, if I can't go to mount because I didn't make grips, like I don't have a cross face and an underhook, I'll go to north south. And from north south, I'll try and isolate the inside ties, then get my shin on top, then look at Kimura. Once I get one of their shoulders off the floor, then I'll normally look to have a bolo to the back, you know, that roll through thing from side control, or I'll just encourage them to come up on a single and spin to the back. Failing that, I'll be looking at Kimura's north south. Roll through to the back, try to get mount. Try to get upgrade position. Yeah, upgrade position. I'm not I feel like side control is good, but if you get trapped there without any grips, it's pretty you still got a ways to go. But generally it's gonna be north south if you don't get a cross face and underhook. What's the game plan against Giancarlo Bodon? Why would I say that here? There you go. <laughs> uh your, what's your favourite K guard entry? Uh what does that mean? I just under the leg. <laughs> Am I missing something? How do, I miss- how do you get to K guard? I underhook the leg and I put my leg on the outside. Let me try and think. Okay, I will go from side guard, then I'll swing my, which is just like you're on your side and you don't have your leg between their leg. Kind of like they're leg dragging you almost, but they haven't got their knee wedged under you properly yet. Mm. They're not pinning your other leg. So from there, I'll swing this leg all the way over onto their hip. And then from there, kicking on their hip and underhooking their leg with my left leg, I'll then put my right leg on afterwards. Got it. You get me? That's how I'll enter entre the K guard. I'm satisfied with that. He's satisfied. Great. Well, you got you to go? Yeah, it's time for me to go. It's a shame yeah. that <laughs> we missed the first half. We missed about five, ten minutes. Five to ten minutes, fucking yeah. fucking Audio City just failed us. Audio City, the audacity. It is That's ironic it's... that the app is called that. Yeah, but we got there in the end. Foot sweep. Fucking smoked. All right, bro. Good yeah, you. man, good to see you, bro. Yes, remember to like and subscribe to the podcast. <laughs> <coughs> uh, like and subscribe, check out... Uh, what, what, hey, when's your new instructional coming out? See, now for uh, that, you and Christian uh, Yeah, there was a there was a trailer recently put out, which I thought was the actual release but it is not the release it's just the trailer for the release so oh, okay we'll be waiting another week or so okay wow and then get your orders in like the setting of the video is not the best given people don't buy it for the setting do they people don't buy it for the setting but they like the setting if it's nice blue bj fanatics thing there it's for all sure. good but actually the camera quality is excellent the teaching four out of ten see you there great so get the instructionals check out my strength programs if you want to work with me 
just send me an inquiry. Like and Link, subscribe, my G. Link in bios, like, subscribe. Good to see you guys. Respect.